The Sukhoi Su-35 doesn't tiptoe through the sky. It dances, pirouetting on afterburners like a ballerina with a mean streak. Russia's top evolution of the Su-27 flanker. It's sold as a 4 plus generation jet, a bridge between old school fighters and stealth heavy 5th gens. While the F-22 and F-35 vanish like ninjas, the Su-35 prefers to show off, flexing raw power, outrageous agility, and a radar that spots you long before you know it's there. Think less shadow warrior, more Olympic gymnast who just happens to be packing missiles. The DNA of a super flanker. The Su-35's bloodline stretches back to the Su-27, the original Soviet air superiority fighter that was designed to counter the American F-15. What Sukhoi did with the Su-35 was to take the bones of that already world-class platform and apply decades of modern technology. The wings and fuselage still bear the broad shoulders and long wings of the flanker, but under the skin nearly everything has been changed. Composite materials and structural reinforcements have stiffened the airframe, radar absorbent coatings have been applied to reduce its radar cross-section from the front, and the avionics suite has been rewritten for the digital age. Sukhoi wanted to create something that could fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Western 4th and 5th generation designs, but without the astronomical cost of a stealth-first approach. The result is a fighter that embraces its visibility, but compensates with speed, endurance, and agility. The party trick of controlled disobedience. When airshow commentators scream themselves hoarse over a jet flipping nose over tail midair, odds are it's a Su-35. Famous for super maneuverable stunts, its secret lies in two thrust vectoring nozzles mounted with outward canted axes. Unlike older systems limited to one plane, this setup enables pitch, roll, and yaw control through asymmetric thrust deflection. In plain terms, it can pivot its nose when normal controls fail, pulling off post-stall maneuvers at angles of attack that would spin in most jets out. With a digital flight and propulsion control system blending aerodynamic surfaces and nozzle movements, the Su-35 pirouettes like a dancer, even when technically stalled. But air combat isn't a circus. The value of such tricks is in brief chances to point the nose at an enemy for a missile shot. In close-in fights dominated by high off boresight missiles, that split-second swing can decide the outcome. The risk. These maneuvers drain energy fast. A careless pilot may end up slow and exposed, like a dancer frozen mid-pose as the crowd throws fruit. In skilled hands, though, the Su-35's post-stall agility is a deadly ace. The muscles. Driving the Su-35's aerobatics are two AL-41F1S turbofans, exported as 117S. Though descended from the AL-31, they're heavily redesigned, hotter running, more powerful, and fitted with the two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles that define the jet's character. Each delivers about 14,500 kilograms of thrust in afterburner, all digitally tied into the flight system, so engines and control surfaces work in harmony. The payoff is blistering acceleration and recovery. While it can't sustain super crews like the F-22, the Su-35 can nudge past Mach 1.1 without afterburner when clean, a rarity among 4th gen fighters. More critically, it regains energy fast after wild maneuvers, letting it climb vertically, yank high G turns, and still have power in reserve. If the Su-27 was an athlete, the Su-35 is its steroid-charged younger cousin. The eyes, Urbis E radar. Raw agility means little without vision. The Su 35's N035 Urbis E is a hybrid passive electronically scanned array mounted on a hydraulic gimbal. Unlike fixed face active electronically scanned arrays that rely solely on electronic steering, the Urbis E pairs beam agility with mechanical swiveling, giving it a vast field of regard. Able to see far off boresight without the jet moving its nose. Its power is infamous. With peak output in the tens of kilometers, Watts, it can spot fighter-sized targets 350 to 400 kilometers away in ideal conditions, track 30 at once, and engage up to 8. That lets Su-35 pilots choreograph a fight rather than stumble blind. While it lacks the stealthy, low probability of intercept finesse of Western active electronically scanned arrays, its brute force emissions punch through clutter and jamming like a stadium spotlight tearing open the night. OLS 35 IRST and Kibini MEW. Radars are powerful but noisy. The Su 35's OLS 35 infrared search and track system, perched ahead of the canopy, lets it silently detect the heat signatures of aircraft. Jet engines, even at cruise, leave thermal trails the sensor can spot at useful ranges. Against stealth designs built to foil radar, infrared tracking offers another path to a lock, especially with its built in laser rangefinder for precision targeting. 
On defense, the Kabini M Electronic Warfare Suite jams missiles, deceives radars, and clouds the spectrum with interference. Paired with the Brute Force Urbis E radar and the Stealthy OLS 35, it gives the Su 35 both sharp claws and a smoke screen. If the radar is a spotlight and the IRST a cat's eyes, then Kibini is the smoke machine that turns the whole fight into a haze. Weapons and Payload all this agility and sensor power would mean little without sharp claws, and the Su-35 comes bristling with them. It can carry up to 8 tons of ordnance on 12 external pylons. Its primary air-to-air -air weapons are the R-77-1, an active radar-guided missile comparable to the American AM-120 and the R-73 and R-74 infrared missiles famed for their agility and helmet cube targeting. At longer ranges, the Su-35 has also been integrated with the R-37M, a massive missile originally developed for the MiG-31 interceptor, capable of engaging targets at extreme distances. The Su-35 is not limited to air combat. It can also carry anti-ship missiles such as the KH-31 and KH-35, anti-radar weapons for suppressing air defenses, precision-guided bombs, and traditional unguided ordnance. A 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon rounds out the arsenal, ensuring that if missiles fail, the flanker can still bark with old-school gunfire. This versatility allows the Su-35 to perform multiple mission types, air superiority, strike, suppression of enemy defenses, and maritime attack. The Cockpit and Brains Inside the cockpit, the Su-35 sheds its 1980s analog heritage and embraces the digital age. The cockpit is dominated by large multifunction displays, a wide-angle head-up display, and hands-on throttle and stick controls. The avionics suite integrates inputs from radar, infrared, and data link feeds to create a fused tactical picture, reducing the pilot's workload. Russian design philosophy still differs from Western cockpits in user interface, but the Su-35 gives its pilot the situational awareness needed to make rapid decisions in a fluid battle. If earlier flankers gave pilots incredible performance but little integration, the Su-35 finally ties its athleticism to brains. The Engineering of the Airframe the Su-35's frame may look like a Su-27 to casual observers, but Sukhoi has made extensive changes. The removal of canards seen on experimental Su-27M and Su-37 models reduced drag and radar reflections. Composites have been used in construction, radar absorbent materials applied in key areas, and the structure stiffened to handle higher loads. The iconic flanker wing remains, providing immense lift and fuel capacity, but now works in concert with advanced control surfaces surfaces and thrust vectoring. The result is an airframe that remains instantly recognizable but operates on a higher performance plane. Who flies the Su-35 today? As of 2025, the Su-35 is in service with Russia, China, and Algeria, with Iran confirmed as a purchaser. Russia continues to take delivery of new Su-35S models from its production lines, feeding frontline squadrons. China received 24 Su-35s KS between 2016 and 2018, making it the first export customer. Algeria became the newest operator in 2025, with deliveries beginning in the spring, believed to include airframes originally destined for Egypt. Iran, after years of rumors, publicly confirmed its purchase in early 2025, though exact delivery timelines remain opaque. Notably, Indonesia and Egypt flirted with orders but ultimately did not field the type, leaving the current roster limited to Russia and its few close partners. And that's the story of the Sukhoi Su-35, Russia's super maneuverable flanker that can twist, shout, and quite literally break the rules of aerodynamics when it wants to. If you enjoyed diving into the engineering, then hit that like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, fly safe, stay curious.